This video is called Stepping Out with the Walk Tool, and it's the second video for Google SketchUp for Dummies, Chapter 10. All right, uh, this video is about walking around your model using the Walk Tool. Uh, let's say you've already watched the last uh, video or read the earlier part of this chapter and you've already figured out how to use the position camera tool. You don't have to use position camera before you walk, but it helps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to be standing with the position camera tool over here near the, the entry to the store right there. I'm going to click and it's going to tell me that I'm at five foot six is my eye height and I'm in my little look around tool right now. Let's kind of just drag this around and what I'm doing is looking around this cafe right now. Look at the back of that woman's head. There's the door. There's the logo. I can sort of see the chairs. Now, since the last video, I added in a little uh, obstacle course so we can walk up some stairs. I hope that's good. Um, what we want to do is just kind of walk around instead of just looking around, though. Oops. I've still got the stick that I used in the last video there, so I'll just erase that. That'll make it easier. Okay. So what we are is we're inside this space right now, and we want to walk around it. Well, what I'm going to do is go get the camera menu and then the walk tool right there. Now. You see my cursor turns into a pair of feet, just like that, or basically footprints. That means I'm in the walk tool. Now walking is pretty simple, actually. Watch, I'm just going to click down with the mouse and move my mouse up. Watch. And when I move it not so far, I'm going to end up walking very slowly, like this. If I move it higher up, closer to the top of the screen, I'm going to end up walking much more quickly. Now to steer, let's say I want to turn over around to the left like I am right now. I move the cursor way over there. This is probably against this nice blank screen. You'll see what's going on. The walk tool actually also gives you this handy little crosshairs in the middle of your screen. Basically, when I press down and I'm on the crosshairs, I'm not going to go anywhere. But if I move my mouse up, well, let's kind of be facing over here. If I move the mouse up from the crosshairs, I'm going to walk forward. If I move down from the crosshairs, I'm going to walk backwards. And if I move the mouse over to the right of the crosshair severely, I'm going to turn to the right. And if I turn it over to the left, I can go like this. Now, walking around in SketchUp actually isn't that hard. It takes some practice if you're not used to kind of using video games and things like that. I don't really play video games, and so I have to admit that the walk tool is kind of a challenge to me. Um, for, let's say, kids who play video games all the time, they're going to be kind of naturals at this. They're just going to kind of wonder where the big gun is that they would normally be carrying if this was a video game. But anyhow, okay, let's try some different things with the walk tool. If I hold down Control or uh, let's Control on a Windows machine or Option on a Mac, like this, I'm going to end up running. Watch as I walk around, I'm kind of running into things that are all over the place. There, I accidentally actually sort of jumped on top of the table. So normal walking speed with the walk tool is like this: holding down Control on the Windows or Option on Mac, I'm going to end up running all over the place, and that's kind of like you're on, uh, I don't know, speed or something like that. Okay. If I hold down Shift, watch what happens. I'm going to hold down Shift and then move my mouse up. Look what I'm doing. It's almost as if I'm going up in an elevator. See? As I go down, now I'm kind of going down an elevator. What's really happening, if you look at the lower right-hand corner of the screen, is that my eye height is changing. So now it's at like 9 feet, 8 feet, 7 feet, 6 feet, something like that. So this is how you can kind of grow. You can also sort of simulate cool uh, elevator effects in SketchUp if you want to. That's moving it up and down with the Shift key held down. If I hold down Shift and move to the side, it's like I'm shuffling along. So this is actually kind of walking sideways, kind of like a crab, sort of shuffle, shuffle, shuffle over the side, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle over the side, just like that. So pretty simple. Okay, last one. Watch what happens when I normally, oops, it says my eye height is six feet two inches right now, almost three inches. I'm going to kind of bring this down till it's a little bit more realistic for me. Okay, watch what happens if I bump into something. I'm going to walk, walk, walk. And when I bump into this wall, oh, you see that cursor that appears? It's kind of, everything kind of goes screwy, and I get that little man. That's the bump cursor. It means I've bumped into something. Watch, if I kind of walk, pardon me, madam, we're going to kind of walk around her through the store over here. I'm not going to be able to walk through it, see, because I'm just kind of smashing into it. Anything that's more than 22 inches tall, which all this stuff is, um, I'm not going to be able to walk through. In order to walk through it, I have to hold down... Alt on the PC or um, the Apple key or Command key on the Mac. Watch what happens when I do that. If I hold down the Command key on the Mac or Alt on the PC, I just walk right through stuff. So let's kind of walk back over here. I'm just kind of turning in space right now. There we go. Turning, turning, turning. I ended up walking around outside. You can see I didn't model much of this cafe. Let's kind of walk over this way. 
and I'm going to really quickly just hold down that key again so I can walk back through that wall, just like that. But by default, SketchUp won't let you walk through walls. Okay, last exciting thing with the walk tool, we're going to walk upstairs. Watch this. I'm going to come over here to where this staircase is. Let's actually, I'm going to angle my, I right-clicked to change my tool there. Right-click and say walk again. Whenever you're in any of the navigation tools, any of the ones that are right here on the screen, orbit, pan, look around, walk, or zoom, right-clicking lets you choose from any of the other tools. Okay, let's walk up these stairs. Watch, I'm just going to kind of navigate around, and then let's go up the stairs. Watch, boom, boom, boom. You see how my head is kind of bumping? Bump, 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 like that. It means I'm actually climbing those stairs. And now I can kind of look down off this useless little gallery I put in the back of this store, and I'm right there. Now, I'm also going to be able to fall off. So what I did is I just kind of fell off that balcony because for some reason edges don't keep you from falling off of things in SketchUp. But let's see if I can just walk directly up on that thing right here. Oh, okay. So SketchUp hiccup there for a second. No, it's not going to let me jump up there because that little ledge there is higher than 22 inches. So I can't just bump up onto it like that. I'm going to have to walk up there again. So let's kind of Walk around over here. Once you get the hang of it, you get pretty quick. And then just walk up these stairs. Boom, 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 just like that. And now I'm standing over here. Let's walk down the stairs now. I'm going to go boom, 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 just like that. I'm the one making the sound effects, not SketchUp, but you can make your own sound effects if you want to. Okay, that's basically how the walk tool works. Um, that is the end of the video called Stepping Out with the Walk Tool for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.